Hey guys, John here from Badger Security Survival. Tonight we're going to talk about good gear. What that includes. Let's do this. Alright guys, what I want to talk to you guys about tonight was what makes good gear. We say it all the time is it's not the equipment that's going to save your life or it's the gear or the pack or any you know, how you say it we say it a different very different ways but what makes good equipment is it the price point i mean you do get what you pay for on some of it but is a zero tool steel better than 1095 carbon steel which i'm testing out now with me and kelsey is that the way it works is a thousand dollar pistol better than a well, i'm not gonna say high point because don't don't buy that but is a thousand dollar pistol better than a four hundred dollar Glock or five hundred dollar Glock? And I don't think that's the case. I think it's, and we say it all the time, it's, it's the gear and how you use it. And I'm, I'm just seeing a bunch of these things go on, and these people are trying to push these things on us as survivalists or preppers or anything outdoor enthusiasts or. And I just think it's, if one if the item you choose like the straight I'm carrying right now I'm testing it out because I want to know so we can push to you guys is that gonna perform as well as the next knife or a knife we have a ton of knife we're testing but is that knife gonna perform for me at $42 or $43 as well as a $180 $200 $500 fiddleback forge and I think it that's the case right now and I just in this research I kind of got my mind was blown on this these price points and this these things that people are pushing on us and what does that entail what does good gear entail and all good gear entails is does it work for you have you tested it I mean yeah you're gonna get some fit finish and quality on it but if you take a $40 knife you don't feel any hot spots it, it, it feather sticks well it, it you know batons why would you go any any more than that? Spend that money on something else you can use, or spend your money on food or water, or, or making your bug out location better, or your bug in location better. Why spend twice as much money on something that you can get for forty five dollars or fifty dollars? I carry a Mora. I do carry a Mora because it's great, and that is a quality knife. I seen the online the other day on some videos, hundred dollars for a Mora. Well, I paid $60 for mine in this new more that's coming out but yeah I'd probably pay $100 for it because I've tested that and it's and it's well worth that money now would I pay $400 for a more you well know, maybe depends what it is but like I said it's how it works for you if you know more works and you need and you think you need this knife and it works very well I'd say get it so in kind of in conclusion what makes good gear is the gear that works for you be it Walmart or be it custom gear from a handcrafted tier one special forces operator and that's all we're trying to get at and that's what we're trying to impress on you guys every week or every time we do a video or tell we talk new gear review hey guys what I wanted to stress tonight is not go out and buy $640 knives but it is just to test your gear it's about doing your research find something that can fit your situation the best and then getting that and testing it and that may include just just looking it up so take it from there drop some comments down below if you got some suggestions for it click that like and subscribe so we can push this information out and share it more and until next time make yourself ready